Hello, and thanks for uh, clicking on my video. Um, if you like the content I'm creating, please subscribe. That really helps me a lot. Let's get started with today's interview question for DevOps and SRE positions. The question today is for in Kubernetes, there's ingress and there's ingress controller. What is the difference? And tell me about a couple of popular ingress controllers that are out there. So if you want to think about the answer, pause the video and I will give you the answer in just a second. Okay. So in Kubernetes, ingress is just a definition of flow. You allow certain kind of traffic to certain kind of pod and whatnot, but it's just a definition. It doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't block anything. It doesn't allow anything. It doesn't implement anything. You just define what the flow should be. Ingress controller is what it's going to actually implement that flow or block of flow, right? Um, mo most common one is GCP load balancer because it's right there. You can just use it and there's already, already YAML for it. So it's, you don't have to do any work. But sometimes uh, th there's another one that's really popular. Uh, it's called Nginx Ingress Controller. It's also open source. And there are many, many more. But the reason Nginx Ingress Controller is so popular, even though GCP load balancer is right there, is it easy to be used? Because Nginx Ingress Controller takes a little bit of effort to install. Uh, the reason it's popular is because it has a lot more features. You can control a lot of lot more detail uh, flow and whatnot. So that's why in many cases you see an Nginx controller, a Nginx ingress controller being used, even though it's, it takes a little bit more effort. All right. I hope you found this uh, question and answer useful. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.